What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And you clearly see Kayla B interview where she spoke on, you know, like Melly and like 600 Breezy. But what people was bringing up was like that she was cool with Melly knowing that uh, King Von was her brother. I don't find that very strange and unusual. You got to understand, that's the reason why the internet then locked in on this one Pacific neighborhood. And I didn't say that. It's thousands of hoods and communities and neighborhoods in Chicago. But the bloggers and documentarians are all locked in on that area because... You know, in like a 20 block radius, it's a lot of rappers, a lot of violence is happening in those neighborhoods. So I don't find it surprising that Kayla B was cool with Melly, even though King Von was her brother. I don't find it surprising that, you know, people like Nina Red was cool with King Von and cool with Melly and everybody know each other and shit like that. These hoods are very close. You got like O Block right here. You got like St. Lawrence right here. You got like 600 right here. You got like MOB right here. And then, you know, on the edges of these things, you got like Front Street. You got like 051 Young Money. You know, these neighborhoods ain't that far apart from each other, man. Now, I ain't saying everyone is right around the corner, but these neighborhoods not far apart from each other. A lot of these people went to the same schools together, lived in the same communities. A lot of people were boyfriends and shit, girlfriends from back in the days. So I just think a lot of the violence Violence happened and split these communities up, you know. When the war started, you know, you had to pick a side. People was getting killed. People was dying. You didn't want to lose your life. You had family members. I don't find that surprising. The more I've been doing these interviews, I started to realize that everybody is related to everybody in this shit. So I don't find it that surprising. I can tell you, though. I think something like that could be dangerous, though. But I think, you know, Kayla B got it right. You know, she said she was young. Everybody was gang, gang, kicking it and hanging it. When she got old enough to realize what was going on, she picked the side and stayed over there. You know, so, I mean, her story sounds just about accurate. You know, I don't find it surprising that, you know, people from both sides knew each other and shit. I don't think it was always, you know, gang, gang shit. I talked to a lot of people who told me they had hoop dreams. People had basketball dreams. People had other dreams that rap just happened. And, and the neighborhoods got fired, fired up, got hot. So people just decided to run with it. But, yeah, I don't find that surprising, man. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the homie truth. Bleh.